Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today we are doing a versus of the Uppa Baby Vista double stroller versus the Juvie Cool double stroller. So we're gonna be diving into this, seeing which one is the better one for you. Let's jump right into it. All right, so these strollers are both absolutely disgusting because they are very dirty. They have been both taken to Disney and they need baths. They need like all the things because toddlers have sat in them and snacks were had and fun was had and drinks were spilled and accidents were had. So they just look like that but we're gonna jump right into starting out i have all of the statistics ready to go so we can kind of go head to head with these strollers and see which one checks more of the boxes for you obviously when it comes to value of things and worth i can't tell you what to spend your money on only you can make that decision but i'm going to help you know exactly which stroller is going to be better for your family and your needs starting out at the back of the strollers i'm just going to go from left to right and just kind of show you some of the differences and kind of bounce back and forth but starting out with the handlebar a lot of questions were asked about this and how it adjusts so there is a, bu a button here in the center for both of these actually and so you just squeeze that handle and it will adjust to a second level and a third level so you have quite a bit of range of motion there for if you have someone taller if you have someone shorter so that is how that looks and works very easy to adjust very streamlined and smooth coming over to the cool it is quite similar with this same handle here in the center you just squeeze it and this one is a little tougher you have to squeeze a little bit harder i feel like um with the cool versus the juvie but or with the with the cool versus the vista and so that is how that works though very very simple so very comparable when it comes to the height of the handlebar they both have the leather handlebar so this one is just the brown leather that goes with the color scheme of this one and then you have a black leather on this side both are very nice when it comes to that now when we are going to look at folding them down let me show you how that works now when it comes to the fold of the strollers i'm going to spin this one around here and you can see there is a lever on either side of the handles here. So you have to squeeze two things to be able to pull this and collapse it down. Now this one does turn into a standing fold, which is really nice. If you extend the handlebar all the way out to the third level, then it will actually stand there without touching the canopy and will just stand and not worry about anything like falling over. The seats aren't like laying on the ground, anything like that. So that is one pro to the Vista itself is that it does have this standing fold option which is really really nice so just to set it back up you're going to push in on this button on the side here just to release it and you're gonna set it up same way like so and it just pops right back out and so that is pretty simple for that one now let me show you how the cool will fold down now when it comes to folding the cool you do have to pull the trigger on one side and the other but they have a safety button which is really nice so even if you pull both, like try to pull both triggers at the same time, it won't fold. So you do have to push in on the button on the right trigger here, and then you will just pull both of those and it collapses like so. It goes down. So it kind of lays down on the ground a little bit flatter. The front seat is going to be, if you're in this configuration for the seats, it is going to be seated onto the ground. So if you don't want your seats to touch the ground, that is kind of a con to the stroller compared to the Vista but you can grab it and be able to pull it around both of them. Um, I didn't show that on the Vista, but both of them, if you leave the brake off, you can actually roll these strollers around, which is really nice, especially for Disney. It's two of my favorite hacks for either one of these strollers is to leave the brake off and roll it through like the queues, getting ready to get on the Disney buses or for any other transportation that you're needing to collapse it down for makes it so much easier especially when you have your hands full so I love that feature and being able to just like maneuver it about when your kids aren't in the stroller and you need it collapse but that's how that works and then let's pop this thing back up so you can see how that goes so again there is a lever here on this left hand side so you just push that in start pulling and just like the this stuff you just pop it back up like so um, so that is pretty easy this one does feel a little bulkier and a little heavier to expand than the Vista does but you know, it is a very sturdy stroller, so let's keep moving. A quick break to introduce myself for those of you that are new. Hi, my name is Ashley and on this channel, I share tips, tricks, and hacks for taking toddlers and little kids to Disney, Disney vacation planning tips, travel tips, as well as vlogs from our adventures along the way. So if that is content that you're into, please click the red subscribe button, join the internet fam, as well as the thumbs up button if you're really enjoying these vi this video and getting an idea as to which stroller might be best for your family. Now, back to the video. 
All right, I apologize. The sun is bright, it's what we're working with. But when it comes to the basket of these strollers, on the Vista, it has a 30 pound weight limit for its basket for the cargo underneath. So lots of room, very large basket on both strollers, honestly. As a personal overpacker, I love these strollers because they have so much room and so much space for all of your things. If you are going to be spending a full day out with these strollers, you're gonna have room for just about everything that you need in there. But starting out with this one, it does have that 30 pound weight limit and then on the um, juvie cool it does have a 25 pound weight limit so about five pounds less with both of these i have went quite a bit over the weight limit for both baskets with no harm no foul that's not like standard procedure and according to the manual but i'm just saying that it has held more than its weight limit says I don't recommend that, but I'm just saying it can do that. So I do appreciate that about both of these, but let me give you an up close look so you can see kind of how they're made, any extra pockets that they have, things like that. All right, we're switching it up. We're starting out on the right side this time, but um, as you can see, Cheerio factory down here, but we have a very large basket. Um, it does have the bar in the middle, which is kind of nice because it actually can kind of keep things a little bit more organized when you're separating things out. Um, both strollers have that. You'll see that on the Vista when we get over there. Um, and then when it comes to the back, it does have this zipper kind of pouch back here that you can use to put things in. So I do like the fact that it's a little bit more sealed when you collapse your stroller. Anything that's in here is not going to be falling out potentially if it's a little loose in there or anything. So that is really, really nice when it comes to that stroller. And then popping over to the Vista, it does have the same kind of center bar. So you do have that kind of in the middle of that, but still tons of room in both of them. Um, you do have a little bit bigger basket um, in behind that bar. So my diaper bag fits back in here a little bit better. Um, and then you can store extra things up front if you are someone who puts a lot of things in your basket of the stroller versus where you, this one is a little bit closer. So you're not going to get quite as many things like behind there, but it does have tons of space in front of it. So if you have a larger tote bag or anything like that, a duffel bag, then you can definitely use that space for that um, as you're traveling. But then coming back here to these pockets, I like these. I don't like the fact that they're open in a sense, but I do like the fact that they are a little bit bigger and wider. I can actually fold up both of the rain covers and put one in each of these pockets and being able to store my rain covers here um, for the stroller seats. That way it comes in handy, especially when you are needing these really quick because a rain shower just pops up and you're somewhere um, like at a theme park or at Disney World, something like that really, really helps. But those baskets are really nice. As far as the wheels, they are both anti-puncture style wheels. And so really, really nice. They are not air, so you don't have to worry about running over anything. They are very durable and strong. Um, and then looking at the brakes, the foot brake on this one is just a press brake and you can roll it around and then click it back like so. And then coming over to the Cools foot brake, it is a little different to where you do have to put your foot under it. I will mention that in sandals, this is not comfortable. <laughs> Um, in tennis shoes, you're fine, or boots or anything else that's like a, a covered toe type shoe. Um, but in something that is sandals, that is one con that I did have with this stroller is having to do that, but locks down really easy. Quite similar with these strollers. It just depends on what style you find the easiest. Both of the baskets will come out, um, so you can remove those if you need to wash them or do anything like that. So that is really nice. Um, obviously, mine need to be washed, so that is a nice perk um, when it comes to that. Over here, you can see that there is an attachment spot for a bench seat. So that is one thing that you can add on to this stroller is a bench seat, so you can fit actually three children here on the stroller, and they can actually sit comfortably and it even has a little um, bar that hangs down for them to set their feet on so they're not like dragging their feet or anything as you're pushing, which is really, really nice about that. And then with the Vista, you actually have a piggyback board that it will attach and it can stand there and kind of stand in front of you as you are pushing. And so both of them can hold three children. It just varies. Um, personally, I feel like that the seat on the cool would be way better for a third child, especially considering they can sit down. A lot of kids, they're gonna be tired. If they're gonna be riding in the stroller a lot of times it's not because they want to stand even more than they already have been it's because they want to sit down so that would win in my book is having that third person third child be able to sit in the seat and be a little more comfortable than versus standing also we have used our um, piggyback board with my toddler Lucy and it's a little bit in the way you have to extend it to that third handlebar and be able to kind of lean out like you have to like fully for me anyway at 5'3 I have to fully extend my arms to be able to push like around her Thank you.
And so I don't find it quite as comfortable. It definitely works. It is doable 100%. And sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, but it is a little bit less comfortable when it comes to that on the Upper Baby Vista. So, you know, pros and cons to both strollers, things to think about and things to discuss like with your partner and whoever you're gonna be, whoever else is gonna be using the stroller a lot. So you've gotta know how how, the, how does that look for you and your family? So let's keep going to the seats. Let's talk about seats, you guys, because that was the biggest question you had when I asked over on Instagram, what do you wanna know? It was seats, seats, seats. So we'll start out on the left again, coming over here for the top seat, the I guess first child seat. Um, this is what's called their toddler seat on the Vista. And this one will actually fit a 50 pound child that is up to 40 inches tall with the canopy closed. Now that is kind of how that standard fits. And then the big difference is the rumble seat. That's what this one is called. This is a toddler seat, rumble seat. The rumble seat only holds a child up to 35 pounds and 36 inches tall, whichever comes first. So you do have a weight difference. Say you have twins, Ideally, in the long run, this is probably not gonna be a great setup for you. Um, if you do have a younger toddler and an older toddler, then this may work perfectly fine. And obviously it'll get them to 35 pounds. So if you have little teeny tiny, as I like to call my girls little pixies, they are on the smaller side. And so then it's, it's not gonna be an issue. But if you have twins, then you may want to look into the cool because the weight limits are the same on both of these strollers and it's 55 pounds on both where the tallest one on this one is only 50 pounds. So huge difference there as far as like being able to put two like same size children in the stroller, which is really, really nice. And then when it comes to the height, it is a height limit of 44 inches for both seats as well. So that is another kind of bonus that you get with the cool. And another thing that I love about the seats is this spacing here. Let me fold this um, footstool down and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, now that the footstool is down, you can definitely see there is a pretty good gap here. My daughter's feet will very easily fit down into that little footrest, which is really nice so their feet aren't dangling. I do appreciate that fact. So they can be able to have a footrest to put their feet um, and everything. And it does adjust to three different levels. Like this is the farthest, almost the farthest down. And then this one is straight out coming over here to this, this rumble seat does not adjust for the footrest. And then looking at the spacing on this one, it's a lot closer. So I would have to, hold on, let me fix it. I have to lock this footrest down into far, the farthest back position to get that spacing, which means my toddler's legs are going to be dangling because the footrest here is not quite as small. It is about three finger lengths, or at least three finger lengths for me. It is that wide. And so that's not really going to get much of a toddler shoe onto it, maybe their heel. Um, but the spacing, I mean, it, it does allow more room, but there again, it's really, really close. So that is one thing that the Juvie definitely wins out on on this cool is because of that spacing, you guys. It is until you've had a toddler in there that's like kicking their sibling or putting their feet up on the canopy and just like really uncomfortable, you don't understand how much to appreciate that, but it is very nice to have. Now, another feature to me that is very important are these snack trays. Now, both strollers have them, but with the cool, they came standard issue. Both seats came with a snack tray. I, to me, I just find that really incredibly helpful. When a stroller has a snack tray, if you follow my channel, then you know we go to Disney a ton and to me, having that snack tray is invaluable because then if you can't find a table large enough or you're pushing through the park and your kid needs to eat while you're like walking around eating and drinking around the world whatever then you have a much like nicer place for them to put their food and everything but where those came standard issue the snack trays on the vista i had to pay 49.99 a piece on top of the price of the stroller so that was not fun to do but you know, it's just a difference between the two brands and the two strollers. These come standard issue. These are an add-on and an extra. So, so just something to keep in mind. If you are getting a stroller though, I highly recommend looking into one with a snack tray because you'll, you'll thank me and you'll be like, you remember when we watched that video and that crazy lady talked about having a snack tray? Yeah, I'm glad we did that. Now we're moving on to the canopies. We're gonna start out over here with the cool this time. You can fold these down. This is fully extended. You can see there is a zipper here that would close it down to be a much smaller canopy. So let me just demonstrate that part here. 
So that is what the standard canopy looks like on the Juvie Cool. Here at the back, it does have the nice mesh peekaboo window, which is really nice. I love that this is mesh. Please do not buy a stroller with a plastic peekaboo window. That is just going to be hot 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 in there on your child having plastic on top of them and just the sun just scorching down. Please do not do that if you at all can, if you see that run. Uh, but that is one of the things that I do appreciate about the cool. And then coming down here to the smaller one, I'll compare that one it fully extended. So it comes down to about the snack tray. So we're almost in line with that, um, with it fully extended. So there's a nice little comparison of those two. And then jumping over to the Vista, this is what it's um, toddlers seat canopy looks like when it is extended and then also has a peekaboo window so you can do that. I do like the fact that with this one if you roll it up it does have a little um, thread kind of thing here that you can pop through so you can just roll it up and keep that back so if you want a nice breeze and airflow coming through for your little one you can do that and then it has this nice little magnetic closure that you can have um, for that part of the stroller. If you are wanting more sun protection though you can do this this is the version one so it looks a little different on the newer ones but this just simply pulls down to look like so and then to show you the difference between the rumble seat and the toddler seat here on the vista with their canopies as well as the difference between version one which i don't even think you can buy anymore um, this is now version two i bought my original vista when we were having our first little girl and then we were pregnant with our second and bought the extra rumble seat i knew we wanted two kids and we had already talked about it we're like okay eventually we're gonna have a second kid let's just buy something that's going to function for us which is the reason we love the vista to begin with and so so that's what we did and so this is the difference of those two it does have the peekaboo window with the mesh liner here which is really really nice appreciate that fact and then if you're wanting to extend it it has a zipper similar to the other stroller the cool and so you just pop that and it bends down. Now this one, when you open it, it does keep that mesh open. So to me, I'm not a fan of that for the reason of you've got two kids. This one may be being noisy and this one may be trying to take a nap. And since this is the smaller weight limit, this is going to be your younger child. Most of the time, the younger child will nap in the stroller when the older one won't. So that is kind of a con of having that mesh, like the sound and everything's gonna come through a little bit easier, but that is kind of the difference in the sizing and the canopies. So you can also see both, they really, they both have really large canopies, I'm not even gonna lie. I do think that the Vista coming down to here, not the extender portion, just ignore that, but this portion of the Vista cover is a little bit larger than the Cools maybe, just, because just kind of looking at it, it feels a little bit bigger, but they are both really, really good coverage. So honestly, you can't go wrong with either one of these strollers for sun protection for your little ones when you're out and about. So they are pretty much a tie on that one. All right, now doubling back to the snack trays. This is the ones on the Vista, which I really like. I'm glad it has a snack tray. And I love that it pops off for easy cleaning. But one thing I will say is kind of a con about this, is I do not feel comfortable flying with these. Let me tell you why. So the big deal with traveling and flying with these is especially if you're not going to use a bag. If you are a bag family and you like break your stroller down and put it in, I own both of the Vista bags. I have the bag for the traditional and then I even bought the bag for the extra rumble seat. Like I was that mom. It was that extra, we had the bags. I just, I feel like it's a lot of hassle to put all of that into a bag right before, and especially for me when I have to travel solo with my girls, that's a lot to be carrying a diaper bag and trying to hold on to two toddlers hands, as well as carry two bags for the stroller. So that just, you can see how that compounds and it isn't really travel friendly, especially for solo travel. So keeping that in mind with this, if I'm going to just collapse the stroller and peace, I'll see you later, have fun, I'll see you on the other side kind of thing. These come out so easily. And so I would literally be worried of losing the top snack part to my tray because literally just getting in it in and out of my car, they fell off. And so if it fell off at the airport and the person loading it onto the airplane didn't see it, then it's gone. If they don't put it back on properly, it's gone. And so you're taking a huge risk with that. Now with the Juvie snack trays, they stay on really, really well, which I so appreciate. They do come off. You have to push in this little button to pop them off to be able to use them. 
but they stay on so much better. They are so much more secure. So if you're going to be flying with this a lot, this one is just like a workhorse and just so much stronger for flying, especially if you're not putting it in some sort of travel bag. All right, now I've brought in my little princess model. Say hi, Lucy. Hi, okay. So she is hanging out here in the top seat. And just to kind of give a little bit of an example, you can see like she's got on a poofy dress there, but she has quite a bit of room. Let me see your little feeties. Yeah, put them, no, put them on the footrest. There we go. So you see lots of room there um, and her foot is fully in there. She wears a size seven, almost eight for reference if anybody's curious about that little girl size seven. But yeah, she is in there. She is currently um, th almost 39 inches tall. So you can tell she's getting a little taller, but once this canopy kind of arches over, it is not rubbing and touching her head. So that is really nice. Yeah, there you go. Can you show them the canopy? Yeah. So she's up under there and she is very comfortable and enjoys, <laughs> you can't have the camera, but she's very comfortable in there and enjoys this stroller. Now let's pop her into the Vista so you can see. And I want to just kind of show you just the difference. She does not have quite as much leg room there. It's a lot, lot closer on that spacing. And then just looking down here at her little feet, she's in like she's barefooted and she's literally scrunching her toes over to be able to like have them on this footrest. So if she had on her tennis shoes, that just wouldn't be possible. And so she's going to be uncomfortable. She would be putting her feet up on the canopy or moving it. So I would literally have to drop this down for her to be able to dangle her legs. So let me do that so you can see what it looks like. And for whatever reason, this is the like next level that this footrest goes to. So she really like her feet are just dangling because she can't put them back there to it. It just doesn't work very well. And that's just kind of uncomfortable to be like bending your legs back all like that all the time. Uses a lot of muscle and whatever. So yeah, that part isn't quite as comfortable. You can see her though in there. She's nice and comfy under the canopy. <laughs> She likes her stroller, but yeah, that's just kind of a little bit of a difference between the spacing and what I was talking about earlier. This one is just not as great with the spacing. So especially if you have like larger kids, taller kids, whatever, then yeah, that one, the cool is probably winning right now for you guys. All right, real talk here. For me, I do not want a stroller that I can't wash. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, obviously it, it is what it is, but I wanted both of them to be able to be like washable seats. And both of these strollers are, and for me, they're very comparable to taking them apart. It's not something that you're just gonna like, it's like not like a fitted sheet. You just like pop it off and throw it in the wash. And it's super easy. Um, it is gonna be a little bit more difficult than that. You do have to do lots of buckles and loops and things, but they both come off and are washable as far as which one is easier. To me, they're the same. To be perfectly honest, I feel like they're very comparable, um, but they both are washable. So that is one thing. If you are considering either one of these and you're worried about it being washable, they both are and they both check that box for sure. Now, as a avid Disney mom and Disney goer, I wanted to make sure that both of these strollers were Disney approved and fit in within their their like measurements and everything because not all strollers are Disney approved as far as the size of the stroller. So if you're looking into a stroller and you're wondering about that, you can just Google Disney stroller requirements and you can see the measurements and then compare it to the measurements of the stroller you're looking at, the stroller you own, and that way you can know. But both of these are Disney approved. So two thumbs up for that. If I could, my other hand's holding the camera. So just imagine there's two thumbs up for that because these are great for Disney. Now, when it comes to the push of the stroller, this Vista pushes like butter, spins and turns one-handed here on an absolute dime. Now, granted, there's no kids in there, but it, it rolls so, so smoothly, even when I have both of my girls in there. And I, I really enjoy the push of this stroller. It was one of the things that got me when I first pushed it in the store, went in an up a Bye Bye Baby store, I pushed a Vista, it was love at first push. Now let's try this one out and just do a little comparison and see which one we're feeling. Now when it comes to the push of the Juvie Cool, it is a little bit harder to push and especially once you get weight of the kids inside of the stroller, it is definitely a bit more to get it going, get it pushing. Um, but again, this is one-handed and I am able to spin this around pretty well. Yeah, look, look at that nasty little uh, yogurt stain. Yep, gotta wash that, but <laughs> I digress. This thing, it does turn and spin really easy, but it definitely is longer. So if we line up both of the wheels here, 
and we do a comparison. This seat and everything definitely comes a lot farther out than the Vista. So you can kind of see straight in line there how much larger this one is. Um, so it definitely is a longer stroller. So that is kind of one of the kind of pros, cons about it. This one feels sturdier though. I have a toddler who I'm not gonna have her demonstrate because I don't want her falling, but she does like to climb into the front seat whenever she's in either one of those. Sometimes she likes to be in the top, sometimes she likes to be in the bottom. We've not hit the bottom like 35 pound weight limit for that seat yet, so she can go in either one still and we'll put, we'll interchange which one is whichever seat. But back on track, she will like to climb in. I feel more comfortable of her climbing into this seat in the stroller because this cool is a lot heavier duty. With this one, she can pretty easily kind of topple it over. Um, it helps once my diaper bag is hanging on the back, but it is one of those cons that it doesn't feel as sturdy. So while this one may feel lighter in weight, this one is definitely got some pros to it of being a little bit longer. It's a little bit sturdier. So if you have rambunctious toddlers that like to crawl around, then this one is probably gonna be your bet for that. Now this information was a little shocking to me because I fully expected for the Juvie Cool to be way, like leaps and bounds heavier than the Uppa Baby Vista. But the Juvie Cool came in at 30 pounds. And that is what the it, what their website says. The Juvie Double comes in at 30 pounds. Where the Uppa Baby Vista as a double with that added rumble seat comes in at 32 pounds. So it's two pounds heavier. Personally, I feel like the Uppa Baby Vista is quite a bit lighter feeling. Even though it isn't actually like physically lighter, it feels lighter. And I don't know if it's because of it's being consolidated or the materials that it's made out of. It's just a lighter weight material. I don't know, but this one is definitely easier to lug around than the Cool is. So it's heavier, but it's lighter. So it's hard to explain. But yeah, weight wise, the Upper Baby Vista definitely wins on that one. Now, one thing to keep in mind with both of these strollers is the age compatibility. And for the Juvie Cool, it has a compatibility of starting at six months. Now, if you want it to be used younger, they definitely sell adapters that can attach either their bassinet that works with the stroller, so you can put your little newborn sweet little baby down in it, or you can even buy adapters to put your car seat on it, which is really, really nice when you're going out those first few months when they're just itty bitty and they're sleeping and you don't wanna get them out of the car seat seat, you can throw that in there and easy peasy be able to kind of take them around. Now when it comes to the Uppa Baby Vista with their seats, theirs is actually compatible at three months old. So that is really nice and I do appreciate that fact as well as they sell an adapter that is a newborn like little snug adapter that you can put into the seat. It's kind of like a liner and it's got like a little head piece that fits their head and so you can use this but you do have to buy that extra adapter or when you buy the Vista it actually comes with which is nice so you are paying a little bit more but you do get something more of getting the vista um bassinet that goes with it so again you can put your newborn baby down in it let them lay there and relax or you can buy the car seat adapters we loved that with ours we had a nuna um light car seat it was like lightest car seat on the market i'll link that too it was we loved it um so it was made it a lot lighter and so we were able to put that on to this stroller and it even works with a lot of other car seats so you can buy lots of different adapters for that but it does work a little bit younger with a baby so you can put a three month old in this specific stroller versus with the cool it'll take you a little bit longer to be able to use the seat function which to me kind of doesn't matter because of the fact that most of the time you're leaving them in that car seat i feel like anyway but just something to keep in mind if you are somebody that really like you are raring and ready to go to get them in that stroller seat then the uh, Vista may be more of your bet, where the Juvie Cool, you do have to wait a little bit longer. All right, now the big question on everybody's mind is, well, but how much do they cost? And so when it comes to the dip price difference for these, if you are looking at the Juvie Cool over here, it is $879.99. That is for both seats to be included. Now with it, you do not get a bassinet. That is an extra thing. But I feel like if you're buying the stroller, you may or may not want that extra bassinet. You may not need it just yet but it comes with the two seats. It does come with those lovely little snack trays that you're really gonna enjoy as your kids get older and into that toddler phase. So that is a nice plus. It is a little more in the price range of 
budget or friendly like it's still it's like almost nine hundred dollars like once you get your tax and out the door it's over nine hundred dollars so something to consider um because it is <laughs> It's a big decision. But then when it comes to the Upper Baby Vista over here, that one comes in at $1,229.97. So you're talking substantially more for this stroller um, to be the way it is. Now that is coming with both seats. It's a bundle that I found on Amazon, so I will have that link down below. It does come with both the toddler seat, the rumble seat, as well as the bassinet and the adapter for that. So it's something to keep in mind. <laughs> that you can do. She's gonna help me and uh, show off the little piggyback board here. But that is one thing to kind of keep in mind is the definitely huge difference in the price range. So you're talking about $900 here versus just under $1,250 for this stroller. So a pretty good try, a price jump there. Something to consider, but now I wanted to jump into kind of a and a little portion of this video. I've got lots of questions over on my Instagram about different questions about these strollers. So we're going to rapid fire answer them. And for this one, I'm going to call in a special guest to help me and get a little extra perspective. All right. So I wanted to bring in the dad perspective here for these. We're just going to try to rapid fire through these questions that you guys asked. And so we'll see which one ends up with the better score at the end of this rapid fire. And then we'll share our pick at the very end yeah, yeah. so <laughs> i am the dad perspective <laughs> the dad perspective all right so first one price comparison cool cool <laughs> quality of fabrics ease of wiping spills food off same yeah equal um weight of seat difference as well as maneuverability with both children in it weight Fist of seats the Oh, weight of seats? The seats is the cool. Yeah. The the ease is the Vista. Yes. Agreed. Is Lucy more comfortable in one versus the other and top versus the bottom? She's the same in both. And which one do you think? Vista. Cool. <laughs> the spacing. Oh, She's yeah. more comfortable. Yeah, but that's true. Let's see. Which is the best for Disney Skyliners monorail? Both. I'm going to go with Vista because it's a little bit lighter. And yeah. And because it's easier to... I, easier to tip over a little bit. It's easier to pull back and get it onto the monorail. So yeah. this okay. stuff. All right, let's see. Weight of the stroller, max weight on seats. Which pushes better? Weight, cool. Pushes better. Vista. Vista. Have giant kids the same age as yours? Love the bench for the cool or right on board for the Vista? Bench for the cool. Yeah, I'm going with the cool with the bench because uh, at least Lucy's not big enough to use the ride along. And if they're tired, Sitting down is a lot better than standing up on a skateboard. Yeah, exactly. Um, price versus worth, ease to travel compared to renting a stroller for the trip. I'm not personally a renter. We like to take ours. We like it at the airport. Um, but as far as traveling... I picked the Vista because I like the way it collapses. Yeah, I have to agree. Even though I have to pack the snack trays into my suitcase. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have to agree with that. Um, better for transition from one to two littles. They're the same, honestly. I feel like you just yeah, you they're can just get so that extra similar. Seat. Yeah, they're really similar. Um, which has been more durable for your little ones? Equal. Equal, yeah. I would say the same. Yeah. Um, weight comparison and folding ease. Ease of folding Vista. Weight. Vista. Weight limits. Oh. The other one. Carry weight Vista. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna tally this up at the end. <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> it is gonna be hard. Which one is easier to deal with getting on and off buses? Vista. Vista. <laughs> Storage, et cetera, and attachment configurations. They're equal, just about. Uh, yeah. The Vista, I think, is a little bit more um, customizable with uh, different directions and bassinets and whatnot. You can do that with the cool. Never mind. They're about <laughs> equal. Bench on the cool, yeah, skateboard that's on the about Vista. It. That's about the difference. Um, we have a mockingbird. I, I have no experience with a mockingbird. So mockingbird, if you'd like to send me one, I would love to review it. <laughs> yeah, send it, come on. I have no experience with that. Um, which has the better fold? Vista. Vista. Um, max weight limits for kids. Cool. cool. Um, better turning radius. Vista. Vista. That's a Vista, cause it's just a little bit shorter, but also it's the ease of pushing the Vista just yeah. inches out there. Fits better in your car. Vista. Yeah, Vista. Which one maneuvers easier? I want something that turns on a dime. Turns on a dime. Vista. Vista. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It's this. All, all I have to say is if you're going to 
go to a store and you're not willing to spend the money on the Vista, do not push the Vista. Don't touch the Vista, <laughs> stay away from the Vista, just go to the other section that has a slightly more, more affordable price because as soon as you touch the Vista, you'll be like, oh, this is the Bentley. This is the Bentley of strollers. And, and then everything else just feels less because yeah. the Vista is amazing. <laughs> Is that about yeah. accurate there? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sums it up. Um, okay. All right, let's see. Handlebars did both adjust. Yes, they both adjust. Everything else I feel like I've answered already. So, the big question. If you had to pick, which one are you picking? Oh, if I could, could pick either one and I had to make the decision and you were like, hey, which one you want? I'd say Vista. I, I like the Vista. My answer is more complicated. It's twofold as a mom. Um, okay, so my bougie side that likes fancy and likes the like luxury feel of it and the turn and the push picks the Vista. But my more practical side as far as the slightly more like budget friendliness as well as that spacing and the fact that you can put two kids of the same weight or up to the same weight limit in either seat, it doesn't matter picks the cool so I'm very indecisive I never would have thought I would have been that way because I loved my Vista I like we watched every video on every YouTube single one I read so there. many blog posts and reviews before we bought our Vista like we it's because we knew it was such a big purchase we big made, purchase we may put a lot of effort and time into it but yep. that being said I love my Vista you guys <laughs> she's my baby um, but if you had to do it again, without, without, like say you had to go buy it right now and you have the money for the Vista and you have the money for the cool, which would you get? That's a really hard decision. <laughs> it's so hard because all I can think of is that spacing and seeing Lucy's legs like you saw earlier on the yeah. Vista seat. I say Vista because it's easier to put in the car. Yeah, it, it just, I guess when it all comes down to it, I guess I would pick my Vista because of, it's just got so many perks for it. You can deal with the configuration of the seats. Like you can make it work. Um, yeah. Sorry, Juvie. Woo, Vista! Vista win! <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna do it. I think this should have answered any questions. If you have any more, and I will try my best to answer them, leave them in the comment section below. I will see if I can get to those. I have links to both of these strollers. I do appreciate it. It is an affiliate link, so I do make a small commission. You aren't charged any extra, but if I helped you make your decision, I would appreciate you using my link. It does help to support the channel and bring you more amazing content like this, but thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, all the YouTube things down there. There's a bell, whatever. Go ahead and click that too. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.